What's up, people? Today we are going to rock out a quick Weeble tutorial that's going to teach you how to use the Weeble desktop platform like a boss. I know that using a new trading platform can be intimidating, and my goal is to have you using the new Weeble desktop 4.0 with ease by the end of this video. In the video I did yesterday on whether the stock market is in a crash or correction, I showed a lot of simple moving average technical analysis, and lots of people have been asking me for instructions on how to set up the charts with those same simple moving averages. And no matter when you watch this video or what the markets are doing, you should watch that video for the lessons on using simple moving averages. And one of the favorite parts from the video was how stocks are like homing pigeons. Be sure to check it out. After the quick intro, we're going to jump into getting your Weeble set up. So grab a cup of coffee and hang on because this is not your normal stock channel. The first step is you want to open up your free Weeble account. Now the cool thing is you get one free stock worth up to $1,600 when you fund your account with $100. However, you do not have to fund your account to use Weeble Desktop. It's 100% free whether you fund the account or not. Follow these steps to install Weeble Desktop 4.0. Number one, use the link in the description that keeps it fast and easy. Number two, create your Weeble account in the mobile application first and I'll explain why in just a second. And number three, after you've installed the mobile application, then download and install the Weeble Desktop 4.0 platform. My girlfriend is from the Philippines and when she tried to set up Weeble desktop it would not work so we called Weeble and they told her to use the mobile app to install and create her account first and then use the account credentials to install the desktop application. This worked like a charm and I wanted to pass this along so you don't have the same problems. Welcome to Weeble. We're looking at the chart right now and let's start by going over the different icons. The top star button is for our watch list and if we want to add an item to the watch list all we do is click these three dots up here and let's go ahead and edit the watch list, add symbol, and we'll just put in Tesla right now. Hit the enter button and then Tesla has been added. So this is where we can keep track of our watch list. Another way we can add a symbol is by looking it up on the chart. So we'll type in Microsoft up here and then we right click on the chart and we can click add to watch list. It'll ask which watch list we want to add it to and if we come back here we can see that Microsoft has been added. After charts we've got the markets then we've got a screener and they've got some really cool built-in screeners here and I'll let you do some research on all of these different features. Customized, if you want to customize your look there's an awful lot you can do here and I'll show you how to add a widget in just a moment. If we click on the Learning Center, Weeble has several tutorials here that I encourage you to go through. If you need to contact Weeble, just simply click on the Contact Us. The Settings button is very helpful because we can choose whether we want a dark or light screen and I'm currently set up on the dark screen because that's my preference. We've got the trade button and here we can set up our different default trades and information and this is where you can set up your stop loss order at a different automatic percentage. Right now it's set to 10% and there's also a take profit order and you can set that up as well. And that goes over our different icons on the left hand side of the screen. At the bottom of the screen we have some useful tabs and let me drag this up just so it's easier to see. We've got the news tab which is very helpful, order entry, financials, we have the analyst and this gives us the percentage for a strong buy, buy, hold or underperform rate. We have the analyst price targets, which can be very helpful, order flow, corporate actions, any releases that the company might have had, and then we've got our profile. Customizing the Weeble desktop is easy. We just simply come up here and we're going to click on Add Widgets. And let's say I want to add the key statistics. All I do is click on the plus button and the window appears. Let me close this so it doesn't make any noise. And now with this, we can drag it wherever we want. If we would like to put it above our chart, we drag it here and we just click on the up arrow and boom, it magically appears and this gives us all the key statistics on Microsoft. We can tell what the beta is, what the PE ratio is. Everything is right here for us quick and easy. Now if we would like to move it to a different location because I really don't like it above the chart, all we do is click on this and hit detach the window. Now if I want to move it to the bottom, I just simply come right over here, click on this button and that'll move it right to the bottom. And then if I want more information, I just click on the more tab and I have everything I need quick and easy on Microsoft. That's how easy it is to get the desktop exactly how you like it. And right now the chart is a little bit naked because there's nothing on it. So let's customize that and get it set up exactly the way we want. If we start off at the bottom, we can see the range and the time frames we have. So let's say we wanted to look at a six month chart. We would just simply click on six month, set it up for one day, and this will show us the chart. If we'd like it to be the year to date, we move it over to year to date, the day, and here we have it. If you don't like candlesticks and you want lines or something else, right click on it and we can change our line style. So if we wanted full candles, 
candles. There we have full candles. And now what we want to do is add our indicators. At the top, we can see we've got indicators, drawings, and these are our different indicator options. And if you have any question on the indicators that are available, you just click on this button and it will show you the whole list of indicators that you can choose. For me, I like to have them set up with a few. Let's go ahead and start by adding a MACD, which is right here, an RSI. Those are those two, done. And now I like to have the moving averages. So with one click of the button, I've got my moving averages set up and we've got the 20, the 50, and the 200. How do we edit these? Well, you've got to come over here and click on the settings button. And then you want to set your length up on the first one. If you want to have this chart exactly like mine, set your length up to 20, 50, and 200. And then you're going to click on the style button. And here you're going to turn on everything that you want and you can select the colors. With that, you hit the done button. Here, let me just change this to red so we can see the change. And you're going to notice that when it comes on, it'll be red. We hit the done button and everything should be here once we turn on the moving averages. And boom, you've got your setup with your three different moving averages, your MACD, and your RSI. But wait, there's a lot more that we can do. So let's go ahead and remove the MACD and the RSI just to clear some space. And then let's click on the volume button. And what's nice about this volume button is the blue line shows us what the average volume is. So we can see whether the average volume is above or below. So for the last two days on Microsoft, we can see that it has been well above the average. And because it's in red, that is a bearish indicator. So the bears are controlling that market. Now let's go ahead and set the chart up exactly like I like it. I'm going to turn off the moving averages. I'll put the MACD and the RSI on, and then I'm going to scroll ever so slowly to the volume until I get this sign. And then I'm going to drag it down. And now I've got the chart set up exactly the way I like it. And now let me show you something really cool that we can do on the Weeble desktop platform. Right now we're looking at Microsoft and we can see the 20 day simple moving average and that it closed just below that average. So let's go ahead and right click and notice the price. Whenever I right click, it's at 233.07. So I'm going to right click and hit the create alert button. If I want to create a price above 233.07, all I have to do is make sure this button is on and hit the save button and it will create that alert automatically. But let's go one step further and create one more alert. Let's scroll down and check out our strategy section. We're going to hit more and let's hit that it surpassed the 20 day simple moving average. When we click this button, Weeble is automatically going to notify us when Microsoft closes above the 20 day simple moving average. How cool is that? I click the save button and boom, it's done. Let's go up here on the alerts. And now we can see that we've got two alerts on Microsoft. It's that easy to do. And one more thing I want to do is show you how easy it is to look at the chart. With two fingers, if you scroll up or down, you can zoom in or out on the chart very easily. And if you scroll left or right, you can scroll the time of the chart as well. So it's really easy to get whatever information you need inside of the Weeble desktop. Weeble is really trying to change their image. For some time now, they've been known as the company that gives away two free stocks when you sign up and open an account. They've changed that where now it's one free stock worth up to $1,600. But more importantly, they're trying to change their image where they're going to be a main trading platform for people. And they put a lot of time, work, and effort into this platform. And to be honest, I am very impressed with it. And I expect it to get better and better. I really encourage you to check it out because Weeble is doing some amazing things and it's an easy platform to use. I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. And always, if you don't mind smashing that thumbs up button, please do because it helps the YouTube algorithm in a major way, which helps my video reach more people. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and check out my Patreon if you'd like to receive easy to understand fundamentals on stocks for just $20 per month. If you have any ideas for me, make sure you let me know in the comments down below. And if you haven't already received a free stock from Weeble worth up to $1,600, use the link in the description. I really like their new desktop 4.0 trading platform and it's definitely worth checking out. Sending love your way. Thanks so much for watching. Stay profitable and I'll see you on the next video.